What is going on LEGO Investors? So today we're going to talk about the Batmobile Batman vs. the Joker chase, item number 76224. I love this set. I think it's an accurate version of the Batmobile, and this is a classic Batmobile. I absolutely love it. It's it's really a great design build. Whoever whoever made this set did a phenomenal job. Now there are a few things wrong with this set, which I'll discuss in a moment. But I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on the set. Will you be investing in the set? So this set is supposed to retire at the end of 2024, and I think it will do decent. I think a lot of people are really expecting this set to do absolutely amazing. I do not think so. I think there's going to be small profits with a chance to maybe potentially double your money, but it won't be at the $47.99 double your money. So let's take a look at the set a little deeper. This set retails obviously for $47.99, which is overpriced. This is a high price tag for this set. And I think this set should have been anywhere from $30 to $40. More so in the $30 range, maybe $35 since it has two minifigures. And the minifigure value right now is honestly pretty great for this set. It's got one unique character, which is the Joker, with a value of $13.13 .13, and then the Batman is honestly doing really well at $10.08. He's included in two other sets, but overall I'm really shocked at the price of the minifigures. So this, I want to say the Batman theme or Batman sets in general just aren't great investments. Obviously with every bad theme there's always a few decent investments and this might be ultimately one of the best or better investments for the Batman theme this year. It's unknown if the Joker will remain unique, which I hope so because it would really, really help the set. I think ultimately the Batman price will go down probably anywhere from six to eight dollars. I don't think it will go higher than the ten dollars and eight cents. So if you're new to investing, we have had a bunch of Batmobiles previously. So let's take a look at some of the previous Batman sets and then Batmobiles. So here are just some examples of Batman sets. Obviously, when I say Batman is bad theme, you have to kind of look at sets that retired previously because you'll you'll see that they did really, really well. But now the current Batman sets just do not do well. That's because we're in a different time. Lego is mass producing sets. There's a ton more investors. So with current Lego set, Lego Batman sets that are retiring, we are not going to see anywhere near these types of gains. It's going to be small profits on a few sets. But I believe a lot of the Batman sets that are retiring, you will probably lose money on if you invest in them. But there's just pretty decent prices. So we got the Batcave from 2016, retailed for 269. It's got a value of 278. I honestly thought that one would have done a lot better. Obviously dis disregard the San Diego Comic-Con Batman and Joker brickheads. That's anything Comic-Con just does berserk. And then we've got the Batman Adventure Duplo set which was $40 got a value of 184 Absolutely insane. I don't know who would pay this kind of money for a Duplo set. Absolutely wild. And then we got the Batcave break-in retail for 100 value of 140 so some of these sets have some pretty decent gains. You've got the Batman Brickhead, retail for 10, value of 47. But going forward, I think a lot of the Batman sets will do bad. And this set, the Bat this Batmobile, I think will do okay. So like I said, it is overpriced and I think there's when it comes down to investing, a lot of investors are waiting for this to go on clearance. So I think it's ultimately going to hit maybe a $40 price tag, maybe, you know, maybe 36 to 38 if we're lucky. I don't think we're going to see a $31 price tag. It all depends. Obviously, it's way too early to tell. But if this set just has massive inventory in, say, Target, we might see this set go on a massive, massive sale. And $31 for this set would be a grand slam. But I think, you know, guess anywhere from 35 to 40 if we picked it up for $35, I could see this set maybe selling for around $60, maybe $65. Best case scenario is $70. So there's a potential to double your money, but at the clearance price, not at this current price retail. There's just a lot of things going against it, and unfortunately the economy is, is getting worse, which ultimately affects LEGO investing. And then like I said before, we have a ton more inventory on the marker, market, with a ton more investors. So let's take a look at some previous 
Batmobiles that retired so you can kind of get a, an idea of what you're dealing with. So we got some smaller Batmobiles which we'll disregard. We got the Ultimate Batmobile from the Lego movie, Lego Batman movie, and it retailed for 140 value of 248 pretty decent. Then we got the Batmobile Ultimate Collector's Edition in 2008 which is a slightly larger set. Retailed for 70 got a value of 450 bucks right now. Absolutely grand slam. And then some smaller Batmobiles. But one that we want to look at, which is pretty similar. This is a much larger Batmobile. This is the 2019 version. Retail value of $250, but it's got a value of $381. This set absolutely was a great investment. And that's why a lot of people bought the Batwing, similar to this, the 1989 Batwing. Unfortunately, that set just has not done well. And yeah, we've got some... We, we just have a lot of Batmobiles. And overall, they've done pretty, pretty decent. So if you watch my previous videos, you know that I went fairly hard on the Batman Classic TV series Batmobile. I think I got 40 or 50 of these. I wish I would have gotten 100. This one is going to do pretty decent. Retail for 30. It's got a value of 38 right now. I think it will ultimately hit 60. So definitely I love that set. And then the... Then we got the larger tumbler, but also the the smaller tumbler. The smaller tumbler, I regret not buying. I bought the classic one instead. But this set is just absolutely phenomenal. And it's doing great. Retailed for thirty nine, and it's got a value of pretty much fifty bucks right now. But this one went on clearance because there were so many, and again went on sale for thirty one. If you bought at that price, you are making decent money. And I I think this set is going to follow pretty much how the the tumbler has done this one the tumbler i think is a much more popular set because i think it just looks cooler it's a tank it's it's more appealing to kids and adults as opposed to this batmobile which is more appealing to adults because it's the classic people probably adults might want it more i could be wrong on that but i i think generally adults will purchase this compared to kids and i think it's going to follow the tumbler we're going to see it go on Go, go on sale we won't hit $31 if it did hit 31 that would be absolutely awesome and I will buy a ton at that price but this set has not been selling so I do think there's a chance we could get some pretty big sales again it's early I'm probably gonna make a few more videos on this set but just stay tuned because we're we're gonna get some sales on the set I'm sure of it so let's look at a similar Batmobile which is roughly the same size. Ours is a little bigger. This one retailed for 30. It's got a value of 50 bucks right now. Two minifigures with a value of $7.89. It's really similar to ours, but ours has better characters, minifigures, and the, the Joker is unique. So if Joker re remains unique, it will definitely help our set. And there's a chance this set, our set could follow this one. It's not going to double in price at the retail value, but like I said, the, the sale clearance price. And ultimately, it could do anywhere from $40 to $70. That's probably the best way I can I, I could put a number on this set. There's a lot of variables to it, but the best case is probably $70. we are probably not going to go above that. There's no way. So let's take a look at how, how this Batmobile has done on eBay, just to see, compare if this is an accurate number of $50. So we've got... 38, uh, 40, 54, 44 plus free shipping. So yeah, it's definitely not doing a $50 value because when you, you deduct the fees, it's you're roughly in the $40 range, probably less than 40 potentially with the free shipping. So that's a real bad sign. But I do believe our Batmobile is better and this will be a lot more appealing to adults and kids. Kids, I think, will love this too. But this is the classic Batmobile. A lot of people grew up with this Bat Batmobile, so it's a great, great set. But let's check out how it's doing on eBay right now. So it retails for $47.99, and it is doing $38 plus free shipping, $40 plus free shipping, $40. So honestly, not too bad. I wish it was a little higher, but yeah, I mean, it's... It's doing okay for, for it being readily available. It hasn't been selling in stores. I, I just see it in stock all the time. And it's just not moving. 
So I truly believe this is a set that you have to buy on sale. If you buy it on sale, you might get some decent profits, but we're gonna we're probably gonna go through a few sales. One will be a slight sale, and then it probably still won't sell, and then companies will have to offer a bigger incentive, and then then the sets will start moving. So watch this set, but be patient with it. I think there is money to be made, but please comment down below. I'd love to hear your opinions on the set. What what are you what what level are you going to buy it at and what's your sell price for it? Do you think this is going to be a grand slam set or you think it's going to be small profits like I said? So please comment down below. It definitely helps the channel and it helps the community. But as always, please do your own research, have some fun, make some money. Video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.